Hello Geometry Honor students, this is Mrs. Moslick. I am here to help you with the part three of the project for the GeoGebra file. I was planning on seeing you guys and helping you out with this in class. However, we are at home. So hopefully you guys are doing well. This should take you about 15 minutes. Let me go through this kind of quickly with you. The first thing you want to do is follow along with your helps packet and uh, go to the three by three. Again, go to geogebra.org. Uh, open up with Google and you should be able to get in and then go to the 3x3 three three, um, grid in the upper right hand corner and the directions say go to graphing calculator do not go to geometry instead uh, GeoGebra continues to make updates for amazing wonderful positive reasons and the graphing calculator they've made updates uh, by taking away things so that students can now use graphing calculator app for GeoGebra for many standardized tests like the ACT and SAT depending on what state you're in. So we are not going to do the graphing calculator. Go and open up the geometry app instead. The geometry app is our go-to all the time. They're not um, deleting anything. In fact, they will continue to add things to that app, which is a, a amazingly wonderful. So anyways, open up the geometry app. Uh, you can tell that my connection is slow. I'm using my laptop computer from school. So yeah, okay, so there we go. We are in. Now the first thing we're gonna do is create an 11 by 17 rectangle. Go to the settings on the right hand. I call it the, like the tool uh, settings thing. And I want to show axes. I don't want to show the grid. Um, and I want to make sure that it is zoomed in enough so that it is going to um, be okay to see an 11 by 17 rectangle. So I'm gonna just kind of position it. We wanna have some space below here. And um, I don't have to go as, this is great. So positioned well, I don't like that the tick marks are every two. I want tick marks to be shown every one. To do that, let's go to settings. And when I click settings, I'm gonna to go to the X axis and I want the distance between the tick marks to be one. So I'm going to just take the pull down tab there, put one, we're all good. Y axis, same thing, distance, I want the pull down to be one. And so I'm gonna X out of there. I'm perfect where I, I'm at. Um, and again, it's actually even a little too uh, big, but I think the zoom is great. I'm gonna now click the calculator and in this section, I'm going to click in here, and we are now going to create our 11 by 17 rectangle by using some coding. Uh, so this is the reason why I want you guys to do this project is to get some technology experience. And this is a program that you guys are creating on your own. So you each will submit your own project link to me, and it should all look very similar. Um, but And I'm giving you the instructions for coding uh, but I want you guys to have a positive experience with coding, knowing that it is not always a scary thing to code. In fact, it can do some really cool things for you. Once you create your polygon, press enter, and um, it should um, identify that polygon with some sort of notation. Mine says Q1. Most of yours will say Q1. If it says something else, keep that in mind for our next part. Our next part in this plus, go ahead and click in there. And we're going to make a random point generator and we're going to just use a hundred points. So we're going to use another coding language. We're going to be using sequence, sequence um, and then parentheses, capital R A N D O M capital P O I N T in I N and then in, and I'm using Q1 because that's what our polygon was, my polygon was labeled. Maybe yours was labeled something else, but most times it'll start with uh, Q1. You should see a random point generator. This is pretty cool. At this point, I want you guys to go to the tools, the geometry tools, and we're going to go to more. We're going to scroll all the way down to wherever you see the OK button. And I'm not sure where it is right now. Okay, where is the okay button? Um, I think it is not. Okay, so I found the okay button. I just had to do more and just click somewhere below your rectangle. Once you click below, we're gonna click underneath caption and we're gonna type in random point 
generator. Underneath GeoGebra script, we're going to do some coding. You're going to uh, write in update construction, open parentheses, close parentheses, and then OK. Now, before doing anything, go way up to basic tools and go and click the pointer tool. Go to the move. Now click the random point generator and it is pretty cool. It actually um, has um, is going to uh, just put in random points for us. Now our uh, next part is to put in your picture. So to do that, uh, take a picture of your dartboard and then I am going to go to media, image, and choose your file wherever you have put it and mine is labeled dartboard so I'm going to say OK and be careful when you're putting this in um, one of the points is movable so like my B is movable and I'm going to kind of change that around and then A is also movable so I'm going to be moving both of those points if you're moving the points and um, you end up moving your rectangle just go ahead and um, go back to the rectangle settings just make sure it still is an 11 by 17. so i'm trying to position this as fast as i can so that the shapes as much as i can the dartboard looks like it's actually in our rectangle and uh, i'm playing around with it a little bit do as best as you can without going um, getting frustrated with it and um, like this is pretty good. Um, I just am moving it just a little more, but that's fine. That's fine. So that's it. All you have to do now is when you do the random point generator, now um, click it like 10 times. And then you can count how many uh, dots are in just circle one. Now, normally in class, we would do all of the points and fill out your whole table on the back of your packet. We're not going to do that. It's e-learning. I just want you to be successful in creating a random point generator in GeoGebra. Let's save our file. So go to the three bars on the upper left side, uh, write down or click on save. You want to make sure it's shared. Uh, do something like a uh, dartboard um, or quarter or project and then please put your first and last name so I'm gonna put Mrs. Moss like and then please put your uh, hour like 04 or whatever it is I'm gonna save and then all you have to do is go to the three bars again go to share and then take this um, and save it uh, I don't want to save, I want to uh, share. So I'm going to copy this link and put it in Canvas. So this was about a 10 minute thing for me. Uh, should take you about 15 minutes. Have fun with it. This is your start of coding. Um, I hope you guys find it fun um, and just play around with it and um, enjoy. If you have any questions, concerns, email me. Have a great time. It has been fun for me. I love this stuff. So here we go.